All right, welcome to the updated Garage Gym Tour. All right, just gonna walk you around the gym, show you what's new, show you what's changed, keep it, keep it super simple here. Barbells have not changed. Everything's the same with those. Uh, same setup there. And there's our rep fitness rubber grip dumbbells, five to 100. We did get some new rep fitness sandbags. And that's a 40 pound bag and an 80 pound bag. And I've, I've got, I'll do another video on that, kind of showing you how to set those up and fill them and everything. Rep Fitness AB50 200 and then a Rep Fitness competition flat bench and that's with the wide pad. As we move over here, this is a Rep Fitness PR 5000 version 2. So, Rep Fitness PR 5000 version 2. And then there's a adjustable bench from Rep Fitness right there, the AB 3000. Uh, okay, those plates are all from American Barbell. And then we've got our collection of bands. All right, we'll work our way over to the cardio stuff cardio section hasn't changed. Yep, there's the AC unit that has probably been added since the last uh, uh, tour or maybe not. But uh, again, so cardio stuff, we've got two treadmills. Uh, both are life fitness. And then we have a pre-core stationary bike. And then of course, everybody knows the Rogue Echo fan bike, which is an awesome bike. Over here, we've got our Dolomar mats in our MMA training area, boxing area. Um, it's a padded floating floor. So that floor is actually, um, it's sprung. So there's uh, springs underneath there. And one day I'll show a video on how to build that. And then our Tidal Fitness bags that are on a uh, rail system. And I've done a video on that. I'll try to tilt up so you can see, see the rail. There it is there and that goes clear across through the gym so you can move the heavy bags over and that works really well and again I've got a video on that and the kids have their gymnastics rings down right now so now we'll kind of just pan over this way work our way down here on this side the kids have their gymnastics stuff set up and a couple of our quads over there are being stored right now little toys so, reverse hyper from West Side Barbell. You guys are all familiar with that. We just picked up a new GHD from Rep Fitness. And I've done a review on it. I've got a video out there on both of these items. And I really like that, that new GHD from Rep Fitness. Doesn't take up a ton of space. I'll try to get you another angle of it here. Kind of give you a feel for size. The side, the... Oh, it's hard to get it. There you go. So you can see it beside the reverse hyper. Yeah, it's not huge. For a GHD, it doesn't take up a ton of space at all. And then over here, we have our DeWalt bench that has the rep decal on there that I put on it. But you can see clearly that bench is a DeWalt bench. Um, working our way over to this side of the gym. Okay, and then over here, we have a Titan lat pull down, and then moving past that is the Rep Fitness FT 5000. I'll give you a close up on our attachments and how we store them. They are stored right there on a black pegboard. Works really well. Kind of give you an overview there of that. Yeah, it works out perfect. This is new to the gym since 
Uh, I think the first tour might have just we might have just got it in. Uh, this is an again faster storage rack, great rack, and the Vulcan 105 to 120 dumbbell rubber grip sets on there. Oh, those are heavy. Yeah, those are those are heavy. They're fun to play with. I was playing with them the other day. I got the 120s out, but yeah, those are good. <laughs> so um, we've got our kettlebells under there. We've got a new kettlebell from Rep in the gym right there. And that's a heavy one. I think it's 90, 95 pounds, something like that. Um, my wife really wanted for not sure why, but she wanted a heavier dump, uh, kettlebell. And then plate wise, I think we still have all the same plates and those are all from Fringe Sport. And that's a mixture of mil spec plates and speed plates from Fringe Sport right there. You can see that. Um, oh, we got a new bench block and I'm gonna have to figure out a storage area on where to store some of these little these little items like this down here. We've got a new bench block for bench blocks and then that is a, I think a yes for all uh, deadlift jack and then a couple of these plastic roll-on style deadlift jacks. These work really well. Uh, we'll got those off Amazon, fairly affordable. Um, so that's an updated tour of the gym. I'll show you the speaker system that we have. There's one there and then we have another one up over there and then there's okay we're still filming this is the back side of our ft5000 and we've got a rogue matador right there that's eh, probably could have a better storage place but that's where it's sitting right now and then we've got our larger attachments on the back side that seems to work really well um, really like how that turned out and then over here we have a rep fitness large uh, box and some some pads for my wife that she likes to use Pop over this way there you go that's a quick tour of the gym give you a little overview of everything I'll do a more of a pano here All right, thanks for watching. Again, check us out on Instagram for more garage gym tips and tricks. And also, if you're looking at buying anything from Rep Fitness, check out our Rep Fitness reviews. We're an affiliate of Rep, and I'll put a link in the description box below. Thanks. Have a good day.